Hashtag UBE3. Lots of love from everyone here. All the love. And don't forget the post show. Uh, after the main show. I'm going to forget the post show. I'm not dealing with a post show. Well, here we go. Well, there we go then. Here we are. I like how it's always rating pending to yeah. mature. Your mic. You, you got it. You, turn that on. Oh. <laughs> I'm already Jeez, dying. these guys are horrible. <laughs> Who are these? Where's Aisha? Yeah, where is she? She wasn't there last year, so I don't think she's gonna... Just put Eve on the stage. Mr. Gilmo? It's a cool theater. Yeah, but like... How about you pan to the stage and show me the video games? Yeah. Kill me. <laughs> no, it's. Are you ready for the biggest gaming? Biggest gaming show game. Okay, game. this this is better. Game. You know. Rayman. There's a really easy way Rayman. to fix it. Just show Rayman, Rayman Four. Rayman. 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 Are they just like spoiling Rayman. all the stuff they're gonna show like right away? Or? If they show Rayman, I'm legit going to like lose your shit. Yeah, but they won't. But what if it's a 2D Rayman? I'd be happy what with that. What do you think of their new well. logo, by the way? What I think about it? Yeah. Eh, I mean it's clean, I guess. Yeah, that's true. I like the animation it does. I have I haven't seen that before. That's actually kind of neat. Well, at least we get Just Dance out of, the way, out of the way. Why does Ubisoft always do this? Well, because they have to show. Oh, oh wait, it's Just Dance, yeah, just of course. Dance. Yeah. At least that's what I, I think it is. It better be Just Dance because if this is supposed to be entertainment for us, then uh, nah. Think Yamaha kick drums, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a what? fucking panda. Why is it the panda though? What's this song? Is this anything? Just okay. It sounds like Moscow, Moscow. <laughs> Everything you hear sounds like that to you anyway. It's not true. Yeah, this. Whoa! Belly zoom. Don't do that. Oh, this is Havana. Yeah, I was like, this is an actual song. You know, I thought that first bit was bad. I mean, it's fine. No, it's not. I don't like but it. This is scary. It's gross. What the fuck is happening? They're yeah, like groupies. Yeah. For the panda. Like, I get it. The panda's the, the rock I, stuff. Is this Ubisoft's mascot that I don't know about? He's it, in Smash. Did it, you know this? Oh, fuck me. Weird ass panda. Mm -hmm. So it was live. That's pretty cool. Well, or that was pre recorded, and the moment they went through the door, they Maybe. just came through the Maybe. door there. Yeah. Because that was a little bit too choreographed yeah. to um, yeah. be live. Uh, At least that's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna assume. It's like when they say a movie is one take, but really they found convenient spots to like edit it. Mm. That Bruno Mars. God. Just dance is fun. Well, just get it out of the way. Just get it out of the way. Just get it out of the way. It's fun. Might just buy this for the Switch, just, you know, <laughs> for for yeah. those just rare occasions for that where party. this is fun. This can be fun. Yeah, but you have the Jackbox, right? That's fun enough. You're such a fucking idiot. What? They're two completely different games. Yeah, but... One is all about your wit, and one is all about just moving. Well, look, I, pr I, 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 I like my wit lint. more than my moving, honestly. Uh. Well, 
like I like horns. I mean, you know, they could just talk about just dance, but this is really, you know, the only way you can show it. So show just dance, well, you know. Yeah, just no, to give I know. It, it's fine because it's just the same game again and again, just with different songs. Yeah, and stuff. so it's fine. Let's go. Nice. It's a fun party game. All I'm saying is that I didn't come here to see that. Get out of here, you panda freak. Get off the stage! <laughs> oh wow, we're just going? Yeah, That's good. We're, we're just go. See that guy who wants to run on stage, but then uh Where am I for? Are we getting beyond good and evil two stuff regardless? What? Oh this that's actually dude, cool. It's a, it's a ring with like actual mountains? Yeah. That's it's crazy. Well, I mean, they're okay. just big asteroids, so like. Oh well, yeah, but, and, but wow, it that's looks fucking dope. That looks. This cool. is beyond good and evil, right? Yeah, it's beyond good and evil too. But it's another CG thing. Do you hear me? Yeah, it's another CG thing. Well, let me just watch this. I was thinking the same thing, like poison, but I don't well, think so. It's just chili. Some spice. We are dead in the water. I repeat. Main engines are cursed. Knock, come in. What? what have we got on the scanners? Jack shit. Nada. Hey, 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 wait. I see something. Three o'clock starboard. It, it's massive. What the Get fuck? Here, Sally. Hold off! Cool movie. Oh, I, yeah, I was just about to say the same thing. I feel like I'm just watching a movie <laughs> and not like a video game. Oh no! The group picture, baby. It's symbolic. Probably. Gods protect us. What the fuck? Uh oh, the Reapers. Sure. That's a pretty big ship. That sure is. Oh, okay. They actually have, uh, like, protection for space. Character from the first game is evil now. Really? Yeah, apparently. Show me the gameplay. You think they have gameplay? They don't? Dude, they've been making this game for like a year. They don't have shit yet, I don't think. Hello, I'm Gabrielle Schrager, narrative director. And I'm Guillaume Brunier, senior producer. We are so Ooh. happy to be back this Where, year to share our progress on our space. Where are we at? Just making Rayman 4. 
Emotion, danger, and I hope so. Drama. Last year, you all saw the enigmatic green-eyed Captain Bikini leading the legendary crew of the God on a quest to discover the location and the mystery behind a deep space artifact known as Moksha. Okay. But Bikini has since gone missing. Shani is now captain of the Gada, and she's leading her crew into the deep, unexplored space beyond System 3, <laughs> when they come face to face with their nemesis. Fans will have recognized a ferocious young Jade. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. And Paige is back as the incorrigible chief cook of the Gada. Yeah. Yeah, well, everyone like. Yeah, okay. okay you didn't play like, the first one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Callum, our chief engineer. I've only seen a let's play of it, so like I don't even. What kind of game was the first one? Um, it's like an open world stealth game. Okay. But I don't think this game is gonna be like that. Thanks everyone for Because I don't think that game was liked because of the gameplay, but more so because of like the story. And the idea. Yeah, in the world. But I think this is it. So they've got no gameplay? I don't think so. I'm just thinking, like... Near the end of the 24th century. At this year's E3, we will be showcasing a new behind closed doors demo, offering a oh. first look at okay. our location. Yeah, sure. So not for us. No, they're just going to show it to uh, interview, uh, like reporter people. You're lying. And, oh, they're showing it. Oh, they're showing it now. Pre-alpha. Why do they have it behind closed doors then? Just show it. Okay, here we go. It's pre-alpha. They so got stuff. Keep that in mind. Ganeshav is a metropolis filled with sacred temples. Beautiful gardens and bustling shops. How much but you want to bet it's just going to be Assassin's Creed, but in space? Bars and dangerous back alleys. I'm not saying shit. Our game. No, you're not saying anything. No. Okay. You can play alone or with your friends in co-op. Oh, okay. From the intimate interior of a hidden temple to the very edge of the galaxy, fight on the ground and in space at massively different scales, and all of this seamlessly. <laughs> That was <laughs> seamlessly. Yeah, looks as, cool though. As seamless as From what I'm seeing it. right now, yeah, I like the look of the city. True. Yeah, that's good. But it's also, yeah, was that it? Yeah. With Beyond Grave. Okay. We want our community. That was it. Yeah, like so. That's probably not even gameplay, but just more like. We want our fans and in engine animations that they're like this is what it's kind of going to be like well, it's fine if they it's nice to, of them to show something yeah but i still don't really know what kind of game it's going to be it looks like it's just going to be an open world uh you're hearing this thing what i'm not listening sorry you should listen well because i'm also talking from giant frescoes to murals street art music radio content and much more to do this, we have partnered with a company at the forefront of community collaboration, Hit Record. And here to tell us more is their founder, Joseph Gordon Levitt. So you can submit what? Anything, and they might put it in the game. Why is he here? Look, it's Robin. Wait, what? Joseph Gordon Levitt. <laughs> Why is he here? Because he owns a company? You see her? <laughs> You're like, oh my god! I love this theater. So thanks, thanks you guys, thanks Guillaume, and, and thanks Gabrielle, it's really good to be here. Um, I'm super excited to do this. Like, um, for those of you who don't know, um, Hit Record is this thing that I've been making for a long, long time, it's really dear to me, and uh, it's a place where people all over the world work together on short films or music or art, all kinds of projects. This is the first time we're making stuff that's gonna go into a video game. Um, okay. So it's a little bit different than other like creative platforms um, that you can find on the internet, because the point of Hit Record it isn't just to post and promote stuff that you've made on your own. The point is to collaborate. So, like when we're making music for Beyond Good and Evil 2, it's not just gonna be a thing like a contest where people submit songs and then we pick one or two of them and we put them in the game. We're gonna be really making the songs together. And the same goes for the visual assets that we're creating. So, whether you're a writer, okay. a musician, an illustrator, if you're a so they're just kind of really crowdsourcing stuff for the game. Not with not money, but actual assets. Our first creative challenges are live 
as of like now, someone's at my office pushing the button. Like, I mean, that's here. interesting. <laughs> you guys are doing great. He's, he's and, uh, fun. Yeah, so come to our site, check out the Beyond Good and Evil 2 page at hitrecord.org. And um, that's it. Go do that shit. Thanks. Did you just say shit? Go do that shit! You can't just say that. That's cool, though. Kids are watching this. I might check it out. Okay, now you do that. I wonder if people are going to get properly credited, though, for huh? their work. What? If people are get, going to get properly credited for the stuff they make. And we're incredibly happy to be working with Joseph and his team. And we really probably. It's probably like so, woven yeah. into the yeah. car website. We will be some of this out, our very Can those cars fucking start? Event, the BG Fest, which will take place in Montpellier this fall. Montpellier. Thanks everyone, have a great E3. Thank you! Okay. Okay. Cool. I uh, like that. That's interesting. Interesting. We nailed it. Oh, oh, did you hear that? Yeah, they their mics were still mics on. Off. <laughs> we nailed it! That's fun. That's, That's gonna be hilarious. mean. Yeah. We nailed it! Yeah! <sighs> My name is Justin Kruger, community developer on Rainbow Six Siege. Okay. And I'm here today to talk about our community. Our community no, talk about talk the about game. The game, please. I just... You know, that's the only thing I don't like about E3. The same, uh, the way Bethesda started, like yeah. the montage with our companies yeah. for the gamers, Dude, by the gamers. We have the best fans. Just yeah, stuff like best. that. Just show me your yeah. your content. You can talk about the content. Yeah. I'm excited to announce today that the Rainbow Six Siege community is now 35 million players. Well, yeah, I mean, that's... That doesn't really... Overwatch is like 3 million. Hey, right? look, it was Eve. You see him? No, I didn't Front see him. Front row. Oh. So, is he gonna come on stage, I though? Hug every I hope so. One of you, but I don't know if my arms are big enough to hug every single one of you. You could just uh, do it one by one. Well. No, but you could just uh, do it one by see, one, though. As the, the community grows, so does the game. And as you can see behind me, Team Rainbow has recruited the Italian GIS operators, Maestro and Alibi. Actually, okay. this image represents 10 seasons, 40 operators, and 19 maps. That is all free. I have no idea. Like, have you ever played this? No, I wanted to. Because I think the idea is very cool. Yeah. But I just never did. Okay. And if you want to see them in action at the top of their game, tune into the Rainbow Six Siege Pro League, kicking off on June 18th at 5 p.m. Pacific. Okay, I'll be sure not to do that. Biggest esport teams will be competing for six months of intense Rainbow Six action. Well, is that Reaper? Do you see him? No. It's, just, it's a cool game, though. Like, preparing, like, a house as, like, terrorists. Yeah. And then I think the idea is very cool. I think it'd be a cool thing to watch as well. Like a spectator sport. Eh. Taking place in Montreal in February 2019. I might... I might... I might check this so, out because well, I, 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 I was. I they already know. have more than 30 million players, so I don't think they need you. I will, I've been meaning to check this out because okay. it looks cool. Hmm. Have you actually seen it? Yeah, no, I know, I know what it's like. But like, it's a yeah, multiplayer thing, so I'm not really super into it. It's your problem. No, that's my preference. Without further ado, here's Preference. the first look at another mindset. Documentary. Document. Oh no. No, 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 I no, I don't need this. I get it. Video games are hard to make. It brought Sage to me. I've been doing this for what? Wow, we're already 20 minutes in. That's... Oh. I kinda wanna speed it up. Please? Acho que você tem que realmente colocar toda a sua emoção dentro do jogo.
I mean, you know, I might, I, I like documentaries like this, but okay. are they showing it right now or is it just a trailer? No, I hope it's just a trailer. If they show the whole thing now, then like... Okay, good. Oh, okay. Because I, I like documentaries like that though, like kind of mm. behind the scenes. If you're into the scene, then that's really cool. Yeah. I'm not into the scene. Uh oh. Is this the crew? Yeah, because the crew has got a lot to do right now with Forza looking the way it does. Yeah. Well, they fixed it. <laughs> there you go. They're officially <laughs> better. <laughs> Look at this guy. Or, oh, it's Trials, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he just, <laughs> just steps off. It's Trials. Look, it's Eve there. See him? Yeah, I see him. There wasn't a whole lot there. <laughs> wow, it's almost like that was supposed to happen. Wow. I fucking hate bland jokes. Oh, I hate bland jokes like this. With style and getting up again. Hello. I'm Antil Vasok, director of trials and also prime minister of Finland. Now I'm pleased to announce is it, is that the trials is back is for real? and it's bigger than ever. I mean, I believe him. Do we know about this? No, we don't. But I also don't think it's that big of a deal, honestly. Because it's one of those games that you like played as a kid in school on like one of those Flash websites. Oh, that's cool. But with an actual budget behind it. Don't fall. Just whatever you do, just don't fall. I always, um, I'm wondering whether you could like make your own map. That'd be cool. Yeah, you can. Okay, you then. You can make that's, your own. Uh, that's cool. I don't know how in depth it is though. Like the actual maps that they made. <laughs> yeah, I like when games like this. It's fun. You can really like. There's mm. some really hard levels I remember and. Fun to mess around with. I don't have the patience for this. Coal. Trials rising. Eat dirt. Taste that victory. Does dirt taste like victory? Yeah. Okay, good to know. What's he looking at? Sorry about that. How much do you think they're getting paid for this? Yeah, I was like, are the, do you think they're actors or actual janitors? Fucking God. You never ride alone and competition is everywhere. Like, was that thing, that thing wasn't on stage the whole time, right? They put that on while we were looking? I don't know. In Trials Rising, we work with our players more than ever. To explain more, let me introduce... Brad Hill, also known as Professor Fat Sadie. Who? Oh no. Oh, here we go. You made a mess. <laughs> well, thank you, Auntie, and hello, everyone. No, oh, fine. I'll, I'll stay. I see OTHZ on the front. I see you. I've Who's been that? a fan of trials because. It's challenging, but so rewarding when you overcome something difficult. But I soon realized that a number of play players struggled with the harder levels. So in 2013, I created the University of Trials. We made a YouTube the super guide. Dedicated to mastering trials writing. Now, before I go on, Ubisoft star players, I want you guys to make some big noise right now. Yeah. 
You're not gonna make noise? Well, five years ago, what was this? Oh, never mind. Okay. But when so, I think I saw someone. Rising, they approached me to design and create all of the tutorial content within the game. Wow. It has been an amazing experience for me. But I wasn't the only one involved. <clears throat> 20 community members, known as the Trials Elite, there, have been involved in the development of this game for the last two years. Whether they were track builders, streamers, or see anyone you knew, or something special hmm? to help. Did you see anyone you knew there, or no, not there. I, I saw one forward. guy. I was Register like, I know that guy. At trialsgame.com for a closed beta happening later this year. Alrighty then. Is it? Uh, let's go. Hey, 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 hey! What? You don't. We're not going to put a big coming soon up here. Oh. I think people are going to want another release date. Yes. Why are you doing this? Riot Rising will release on February 2019 on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and the first time ever also Nintendo Switch. Okay. Good. That's good. 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 But just February, like not an actual date in February. So that means it's probably actually not going to be February. And we saw what trial is about. Crashing with style and getting up again. Let's get out. Let's go. <laughs> Let's gonna, get out. Is he gonna fall off the stage? Is he gonna trip, break his legs? Oh, their mics uh, were turned out. They're beautiful. Well, they're not gonna mess that up again. The guy on the mixing board is probably just like, and off. I'm not getting fired over this. I mean, it's a good thing she only said, like, we nailed it, and not something actually horrible. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fuck those Let's people. Let's get wasted! Yeah. <laughs> they actually thought that gameplay was real. <laughs> Majestic as fuck. Jesus. Is this, He's dead. Is this just a murder simulator? Like, huh? Is this just a murder simulator? Kinda. You're trying to overcome the murder. Okay. <laughs> no, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. Cool that it's coming to Switch. Yeah. It's I mean, it's not, I don't think it's a very heavy game. You're so. such a poor beggar. I am? What's that? Three man four. Is that eagle? Oh no! Not this. The fuck is that outfit? It's um. Urban. It's business casual streetwise. Nice. And I'm the creative director on Tom Clancy's The Division Two. You well, already got applause. Like why you wasn't too? You wasn't too pleased with that. Smallpox virus was released on dollar bills in New York City. <laughs> dollar bills. The infection and chaos spread across the nation. Seven months later, the virus has mostly burnt itself out, but America is tearing itself apart. You're tearing me apart, Washington smallpox. Is at the heart of this battle, under constant oh. threat and dangerous oh, no. factions, Get that. <laughs> are trying to rebuild. In their survival lies the seed of the rebirth of society. All right then. He's out. So, so is this going to be the end story trailer then? Because we got the gameplay already. Nature is reclaiming the land.
I've always liked the idea of a game like this. Like, like what? Just like making like a community like that, oh, okay. the farming. And well, but like, what's that other game called? Um, Dying Light Two is also kind of doing that. Fortnite tried to do it, but then they became. Yeah. Ooh, oh jeez! Poor horse. Is that a zombie horse? No, it's not zombies. It's just people are dying of an infection. Okay. Or maybe it is zombies this time. I don't know, because that doesn't look like fun goo. No, I don't think it's zombies. I think it's just people. Yeah, no, okay. I think the law's gone. Malnourished horses. I am sad. the law. Oh no. Yeah. Execution. I like. I. Yeah. This is fun. I mean, you can, you can play it. You can buy it. Yeah. I just heard that the first one was kind of a mess. Yeah, so. that's what I also heard. So I'm kind of uh, on this right now. Oh no, poor deer. Where's that dog? It's a deer, I think. Okay, there's a deer. I thought I had paws instead of hooves. Wow, she's really flailing. So someone's gonna like come in and save them, or are they just gonna? Oh, they're just super dead. Okay. Well. Okay. But when she threw that, she was just in her little community, right? Huh? Why did it say help? I'm looking for help. Well, but, but she was like in that little. They no, had she like wasn't. a garden and. No, it was outside. Okay. Oh, There's yeah. multiple communities. <laughs> what was the girl that threw the. Air oh, never mind. The last line of defense for those civilians and for the community. If you fail, history will be written by tyrants. If you succeed, history will remember the few brave heroes who fought to save a dying nation. All right. This setting lays the groundwork for a compelling story based campaign in which your actions have a clear impact. Lives of civilians. In the Division 2, Washington, D.C. must prepare for the greatest threat it has ever encountered. To face it, you and your fellow agents will need to bring your equipment. For some reason, I'm already seeing the, the Crobe Cat video of Let's his speech interspliced with main bad main gameplay of this game. Yeah, for maybe. some reason. Starts with the choice of a signature weapon, powerful and unique weapons that complement the rest of your equipment. Ay, ay, ay. As you progress with your specialization, and the 50k only grow in power, you know, you also unlock additional tools and abilities, including exclusive versions of skills. Okay, specializations enable you to truly complete your own personal playstyle but also to synergize with other players and take team play even further. Speaking of teamwork, I'm excited to announce that for the first time, eight players will be able to partner up to face the ultimate endgame challenge. Oh. Raids are coming to the Division 2. Wait, what? I don't know what that means. 
Me neither. Like I know what a raid is, but like what yeah, does that mean in but it looks like people are really excited. We a lot. Or did they just clap we because that was the time I'm they were supposed to clap? I'm with the division two. We're launching with plans for years of <laughs> major content updates. Today just like with the first one. Okay. Okay. We will be launching three DLCs in the form of episodes. Each one will bring new stories. Oh, I don't know. That's cool. Yeah, but like, you're already gonna announce that there's DLC when the game isn't even like out yet. Oh, it's free. Okay, fine. Then it's fine. Okay. And it's only gonna cost. The same price as the actual game. Oh, it's free. No, it's free. I know, but like that's what I was expecting. Where's my division team? Mm. Stay tuned after the Ubisoft conference for an exclusive 30-minute deep dive into our playable E3 demo during our post-show. All right. As you can see, they're getting ready right now. And they'll be playing right after the conference. He's like really serious and they're just like... Yeah. <laughs> no, he's not that serious. Until then, remember, this is history's defining moment. Hope for the future lies in you, agents of the Division. Thank you. He didn't have to be that serious. Jesus. Actual in-game play? Did he say that? Oh god. Monument's not looking so good. How much... Shouldn't it have fallen over at that point? With that big of a gap, like, at the bottom? Mm, I don't or think so. Could it actually stay up like that? I'm thinking it will stay up for it. Mm. Not the White House. How could they? So is it like... There's a lot of... So quitting. is it like... I don't know... Is it like a multiplayer... Like multiple squads against each other? That's yeah, what it is, that, right? I think it or is. Or is it like... I don't know. like the idea still. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm just gonna like wait until it comes out and then like see what happens. Yeah, of course. Because people were really, really hyped for the first one. Yeah. And then it just, like, came out and died. Yeah. And that's kind of the feeling I'm also getting with this one, because it doesn't really look that much different. It just looks Ooh, like... Oh, that's kind of a ways away. Yeah, it is. Register for the beta. Oh no, not the rabbits. It's Rayman 4. No, it's not. It's Rayman 4, no, guys. No, it's rabbits. Is Donkey Kong Country? Drum set. Why the wheeling of the drums? What are you doing? Is it going to be a, mu a rhythm game? Oh no, is it? No, I think it's just going to be like... live music to accompany it. That looks like uh, just Mario and Rabbit's kind of graphics. I'm Xavier Manzanares, for some reason. And it's an honor to be back here one year after we announced for the first time and released the game. It was incredible. What? So, as a team, I just Are they making a sequel? For the support. Because it says Mario and Rabbit's. Yeah. Thank you. Or is this the DLC? Oh, I think, no, this is the DLC that's still <laughs> supposed to come out. Okay. Oh, it's not out yet, the Donkey Kong thing? No. I, I, at least I don't think it is. And that looks like a jungle, so I'm just assuming. a new hero as well, one that we cherish and we love, Donkey Kong. So for today, uh, we wanted to uh, celebrate the upcoming release of the Donkey Kong Adventure. Okay. And, uh, Got some Donkey Kong music. And with Brent Kirkhope, <gasps> composer, he's here, and the band Critical Hits. So please enjoy. I wonder what song it's gonna be. 
Is it going to be like an actual classic Donkey Kong song, or is it... I'm hoping it's a Donkey Kong song. Yeah, I hope so, too. Well, I mean, he... he, did he no. Got that electric cello. Is that an... Don't like electric cellos. Why not? Because they're electric cellos. Turn off your mics, because yeah, I, actually, I felt like they were actually complaining about something. There. Yeah. I didn't quite hear it, but... I'm going to listen back. Did you hear that? Yeah. Someone said something like, okay. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Sure. What the hell? Every time I I see Raven like the rabbits with Mario, yeah, uh, uh, and I'm like I'm I'm uh, it's a good game, yeah, but it still saddens me, yeah, and I'm gonna say it again, yeah, because they're like a sidekick of Rayman, well, Rayman, but now, but now they're their own thing, yeah, so that's all that's good that they're not like hogging Rayman's spot necessarily, well, kind of are, yeah, you know what, but like. They made like Rayman Legends and stuff, and the rabbits weren't in that. When was Rayman Legends released? A long time ago. Like, I want to say like 2014 or something. Check. Why are you gonna check? I wanna know. Because I wanna know how long it's been. Oh, it's been a bit. Well, they've also re released that game for like Oh, well, yeah, but it doesn't though. count. No. So it was, um, it used to only be on the Wii U. Yeah, it was a Wii U exclusive for a little bit. But then, that's... but then the Wii U uh, really underperformed. Yeah. So they were like, "Well, we're gonna put this in everything." We just like 2013. Jesus. So we it's need a new Rayman, years. and they're Fuck gonna give man. it to us tonight. No. I'll even be happy with the 2D, but I need a 3D. It's like they have moments of like Donkey Kong actual yeah. themes, but then. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna play, buy and play this actually. I did like the game, but I, I like not enough to play more than I think. I don't know why. Well, maybe once it's out, you yeah. might pick it up sometime. It's weird because it does only seem to be those three. Uh, three. Like, he doesn't join the other characters. Yeah. Like, it's Rabbit, Cranky Kong, Rabbit, Peach, well, it's and then... Rabbit, Peach, because Donkey Kong and Peach... No, he didn't well, well, it's... Yeah, it's... It, yeah, it's the closest thing they have, yeah, but... Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, okay, right. I'll clap. I'll clap for the Donkey Kong music. See you in Rayman 4. See you in Rayman 4. Get rid of those drums. He Instagrammed it. Come on. So, uh, are you moving on? Coming down. Oh, the fucking <laughs> the release date had to come down. Mm. Available June 26th. For season pass owners. Oh, well, not if you don't have the season pass? It said season pass owners. Oh, is this that uh, Skull and Bones? Like Skull the, and Bones. The pirate games? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like the piracy is dead. No, it's not. What are you talking about? Well, well he's dead. Yeah. It's over. Oh. Oh, I hate cages like that. Yeah, I don't like it. It's so fucking grim. I don't grim. like those old torture devices. I don't like it. Killing ourselves. Burning our 
our seas from shore to shore. So, like, Black Flag probably did really well. So they were like, well, what if you just take the ships and make a whole new game out of it? As fate would have it, the tide turned in our favor again. I mean, I like pirates. I wonder... But you know what? There's too many games. Yeah, no, there are too many games. I wonder who the bad guy is, though. The Brits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> <laughs> the Brits are always the yeah. bad guys. Come on. Gonna fucking take over that spice trade. This tone is weird. Is that just me? At the top of the food chain. Wait, is there actual like ghost ships? What? Or is that just Because there a supernatural thing? Oh yeah, wasn't in the last trail wasn't there like a kraken or am I, I think so, yeah. That? yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So there are like I don't I just like that more for some reason. Yeah, of course. Then you got to kind of if a fucking got, ghost ship comes out of the fucking ocean, that's You like, gotta do both, you know? Fight some players, fight some ghost ships, fight some Kraken. Yeah. But also, you know, make deals and stuff. Yeah. You gotta kind of fantasize it, but... Yeah. I mean, because pirates in this sense didn't really exist. No, yeah. It's kind definitely. of a made-up concept it's anyway. It's already romanticized, yeah. so... That damn East India Company. West India Company. Isn't there an East India Company? Yeah, but that's not this. I don't know. It's in the Caribbean, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. So that's West. Yeah. Yeah, but it's... Okay. What? Well, because it was Ubisoft Singapore. And yeah, they made it. Yeah, okay. Well, that doesn't mean that it's just there. It could also be like... Well, but pirates are pretty much Carib Caribbean. Okay. Like the West... You're telling me there wasn't piracy in the east? I'm not saying that, but like those pirates with the with the. Yeah, but you just said they don't even really exist. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So. But I'm take, saying that that concept mostly is liberties. in the fucking west. Okay. You need a target. You pick up intel on a blah, blah, blah. guarded frigate, fat with African diamonds, meant for the Grand Mogul of India. That so you're right. Yeah, you, you clown. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, no, all right. Caribbean. That's fine. But you know this. There was a kraken. All right. There can be pirates in I'm fucking India. I'm not saying that. Okay. Now, fortunes reveal changes to faction, weather, and the trade routes themselves. When, like whenever they talk about game mechanics like this. Okay, are you actually going to show it? But also, more competition. And now I'm proud to share with you the essence of Skull and Bones. A shared world where every okay. player encounter matters. Will you fight? Or will you ally? This is what we call the hunting grounds. Alright, pirates. Let's head to the hideout. And have a great E3. I want, like, working together to be actually beneficial. Because yeah. I'm thinking, okay. if you see anyone, you, most people will just fire. So you know what I was talking about, like, the gameplay mechanics there? With, like, the fortunes? Yeah. Like, why didn't they just show the effects of that? Yeah. In gameplay, like... So you can get off your shit? Well, I hope so, yeah. There's probably like trading, uh, trading spots and stuff like that. Devastating punch. This looks like what. Oh, I like this. This looks what. Look, you can change yeah, that shit. shit. <laughs> this looks like what Sea of Thieves kind of. Yeah, wants no. To be. I, if I was gonna play Any this game. or Sea of Thieves, it's definitely yeah. this. Definitely, it looks De way better. Definitely, definitely. This. Looks way definitely. better. Yeah. I also don't really like the style of Sea no, of Thieves. No, to be not at all. It's that cheap. I, I always say I prefer stylized, but I don't like that particular no, no, style. No, it's really ugly. Yeah. And very boring. Yeah. 
And this is realistic, but it looks really nice, so... Yeah. Yeah. Lit! I fucking love wooden chips. Like, big wooden chips. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they're fucking worthless nowadays, but yeah. <laughs> just the idea is so cool. Well, I mean, for the time, like, oh, yeah. the fact they were able to make shit like that. Disguised as a Portuguese merchant who tried to creep past the fort. Captain, if we engage, they will see it through our guys. What do you say? If they if we engage, they will see through our disguise. Yeah. Okay. But why was he whispering? It's not like the guys on the other boat can hear them. Like there's too many. Island provides okay. the perfect cover for a surprise attack. the optimal course for an intercept. Reading your sails for speed. You want to catch your victim off guard. Captain, there she is. Hmm. I also like that when you like survey the area, you go to the crow's nest. Yeah. And, like because you're playing. There's multiple characters pretty much on your ship that you're controlling. Like in Sea of Thieves, everyone is like their own. Yeah. Guy on the ship, but in this, you're just the which ship. is I think it's better. What, that you're just the ship? Yeah. Yeah. And then you're, it's, the it's, captain is probably the guy who goes, you know, who you control when you're off the boat. Yeah. But then, and then you have your crew, and then whenever... But this feels... I think this will feel way less chaotic. Yeah, this feels way better than, like... Well, because now you're... You know, because... Yeah. Oh, is it just a cutscene when you board it? I'm hoping. I hope so, actually. You do? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think you just like drop the health of the boat, and then you board it, and then depending on how low the health is, you have a pro better probability. It'd be cool of... if you board like another person's ship. You have to do like a one v one against their captain. Yeah, that'd be cool though. Yeah. Yeah. Portuguese. Uh... Maybe maybe if it's a boss ship, you know? Yeah. Like. Fuck the Portuguese. Oh, I don't mean that. <laughs> I'm kind of like in a colonial mood right now because of the boats. You could lose your loot. I love the Portuguese. You need help. You need it fast. Oh, there they are. That one's with us. Other captains have answered oh, your call. Four against one should even the odds. <laughs> I also like that there's like differently sized ones. Yeah. Like that one's a bit smaller than like the fucking giants. I love the oh the giant ships are so cool. Yeah. They're dope as shit. They're so um, like so they they're really big. Yeah. But then again, ships nowadays are like so much bigger. Well but they're also more like efficient. Like they're not supposed to be imposing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you saw that ship coming up over the horizon, you'd be like, fuck that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of here. The Commodore turns his cannons on you. You brace for fire, absorbing the first blow. Your allies maneuver for position. The Royal Fortune acts as a tank, drawing the Commodore's fire. It unleashes its special ability, Siege Mode. Once anchored, it can fire its... The audio mixing is really bad, because the music's way too loud, and someone is giving a description of what's happening. Powerful cannon. Its special ability delivers eight shots in a single blast, increasing the odds for a critical hit. Did they ever have cannons on like the front of the ship? Killing blow. Probably. Oh whoa! Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Just harpoon them with the front of the ship. Oh, these hammer. one. Oh. How long have you been out? I was too engrossed in the gameplay. I didn't know this. New allies into deadly enemies. For there is no honor. Among thieves. Okay. Looks cool. That looks cool. So 
out to play early. Yeah. So what's next? Raymax. No, it's not Raymax. Shut up. It's never gonna be Raymax. <laughs> Tease it. Tease it the way Nintendo do. You think this is Rayman? Oh, this fucking shit. Yeah. yeah. I didn't really care for this. I don't even really remember what this even was again. Like... Is that actually Elijah Wood? Well, there he is! It's fucking cute. Frodo! He's a cute man. Hello, everyone. My name is Elijah Wood, co-founder of SpectreVision. Though we're known for our film content, we're also avid gamers. And the opportunity to partner with Ubisoft was something we had to be a part of. What's with Ubisoft partnering with, uh... Um, kind of like the weird yeah. companies. Well, they're kind of... They're already a weird company. Yeah. storytelling yeah. techniques of film with interactivity of video games. Enabling us to create this unique, mm. deep immersive world with a dark and unsettling narrative. All right, David Cage Jr. Have you ever Jr. dreamed of entering someone else's consciousness? No. Yeah. Exploring their darkest thoughts Ugh. and most intimate secrets? Ugh. In Transference, with Transference, we're bringing a... No. With Transference, we're bringing a first-person <laughs> exploration game into Someone's a Someone's jacking his mind. I think his um his auto cue fucked yeah. up. No. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I forgot my lines. This fall in VR and on traditional platforms, we welcome you to uncover the secrets hiding in this mind bending no. psychological world. <laughs> that's funny. Leave you with haunting memories long after you put down the controller. This is transference. Okay, Elijah. All right. Well, if you say so. What the fuck? Oh, that's the logo. Where's mom? You're gonna sit here real soon, okay? Just hold still. So these are actual Don't people, right? Yeah. This is lies. Okay, this is the gameplay. So the cutscenes are probably gonna be live action, and yeah. then the game is gonna be like. I know this rig's a bit cumbersome, but that's. So now we're in like someone's dreams or something. Yeah, well, oh, someone's that's... memories. Yeah. So. Ugh. And all you have to is just just be okay I know things haven't been so great lately okay so I do. I've been a lousy father and I'm unable well it sure is creepy lousy husband too you should go to sleep you've seen how rotten that's gotten huh but all that is gonna change We're all gonna be together. It's gonna all change, our work, change all their memories. Of our sacrifices. Yeah. That's my gift to you. To us. But that won't actually change the past, though. Or is it to help them like cope, cope with bad memories? Dad, why are you doing this? I love you. Son. What the fuck is happening? I love you with all of my heart. Okay. His mind. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. It looked more interesting this time. Yeah. To me, at least. Wait because it actually gave, like, gameplay stuff. No, this is that Starlink thing. Oh, yeah, with the with things the, on the controllers, right? You can play with the, the, the actual toy. Yeah, I don't don't feel like buying those fucking. Toys. No, I don't either. I have shelves full of them. I don't you need can't more. play without the toy, right? No. So, well, it the game comes with one, but then you buy more. Uh, yeah, and no. It's toys to life. Yeah, I don't like toys to life. I want. Oh, dude, you know what the the, the thing is? All these games, I'm like the idea is great. Mm -hmm. With like, but it's just not the kind of execution that I would like. Yeah, and then corporate big man is like, but you got toys to sell. When's like the last time there was like a no, good I, space shooter? Yeah, I want a space shooter where you can like change your ship, but not with toys. You can yeah. change the look, multiple types of ships. They should make a Star Wars game that does that. Yeah, but they're not gonna do that. Okay, then not, they gotta make while, a. Not while EA has they should life. make a Star Fox. 
Yeah, but we've already you talked about this. Could you imagine? They should just make a Ratchet and Clank style Star Fox game. That's no, but could you imagine a Star Fox game that was like actually good like multiplayer yeah no and you and you 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 create your own i don't understand you create your own like no, uh, your own animal furry. yeah yeah oh <laughs> i don't want it that'd be pretty good yeah but like there's so few of them i don't know why someone hasn't been like oh let's just make this because people probably want this. i want that yeah that guy's excited wow some good fucking space battles. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Laurel Melville. Yeah, they should make another like Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Yeah. Just like. But so, for some reason, some companies just feel like some games aren't game enough to just be like. Yeah. So bad. like so like F Zero. Yeah. That's not. That's not. Oh, it's a racing game. That's not interesting enough. But it's a racing game. Like. And it's the same thing with Star Fox Zero. Wait. Like, oh, it's just a space shooter, so we have to add some bullshit to it to make it interesting. Even though a space shooter could already be interesting. Yeah, and 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 and, and, and like an F Zero game, maybe you could like also add like you can customize your. Yeah, no, fine. Like add customization. That's always fine. To make it, to give it a bit more depth, but. I just feel like they overcomplicate these things, and people just kind of want a video game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where the gameplay is just fun. Sometimes, sometimes a new Super Mario Brothers game is fun. Because yeah. it's just 2D Mario and like... Yeah. Don't release two in the same year, don't do that. Like, every so often, like... Could use a little help here. Uh. Can you hear me? No. What? Huh? Was that Star Fox? What? I heard like the badab da bad bad. You're kidding me. <gasps> Dude! That's sick! That's dope as fuck! Oh that's sick! Oh fuck! You did Ubisoft and Nintendo were really oh, Dude! That's okay. Okay now I'm <laughs> and All we right. just talked about All right. that. No, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Shit, they're gonna have a Star Wing toy, aren't they? And now we're oh, gonna fuck buy now it. Now we're gonna buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, that's actually. That's actually. Okay, that's cool. Alright, alright. And that's the thing, though. Like, those these franchises that Nintendo has yeah. are, like, so oh, recognizable fuck. that. It, we weren't interested in this game, yeah. and now we are. Yeah. I also like that I heard that. Is it bat, Eve? Bat, 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 bat. Is it Eve? I think it is. It's me, Mono. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Hello, Fuck. Oh, that's dope. It is an honor to Starlink. Star Fox yeah. Starlink. Oh my god. And it's coming to Switch, so now I'm buying <laughs> Ever since I started working on Starlink, I wanted to invite Fox and his crew. Fox. <laughs> Fox. Fox. Star Fox on Super Nintendo. Oh was God. The first 3D game I've ever played. Okay, that's cool. That yeah. that's was like his favorite. So me, Dude, Ubisoft is just like super buddy buddy with Nintendo. Like they're just. So that's why we're getting Rayman in Smash. I I mean yeah, like right now. Yeah, or the rabbits. <laughs> so you can play Fox only on Nintendo Switch. Well, yeah, obviously. Nintendo isn't gonna be like, nah, yeah, put that on PlayStation. Moto! Hey, he was just there. He is. Oh, fuck. they're doing it again. Oh man. Well, I mean, he made it, so. <laughs> Fucking hell. God. Damn. Again. Yeah. <laughs> What's, what kind of shirt is he wearing? Shirt. Yeah, what's it's like? What's printed on his shirt? I don't know. Like I'm trying to see. Is he leaking stuff again? Because he's done that before. It's a Mario. It's a Peach. Yeah, it's like it's weird, a Donkey Kong. It's stylized old Mario and stuff. These guys, fuck! <laughs> Shh, dude, fuck, dude! God damn it! <laughs> fuck! Do you like it? Ah, good. <laughs> what does that mean? That means good. Like I like it. <laughs> Oh so fuck! It, it is uh, actually um, 
a vessel that has been created by the team and they, they would be so happy to see you backstage. So let's go and join them. Oh no. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Mimoto. Dude, they love each other. Yeah. They're best friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool though. Yeah, no, it's dope as fuck. Because if this world... It's also... I it's know, Ubisoft. Is, I know, I know Miyamoto's a small man, but that actually looks like a big, like... No, but, like, Ubisoft is the only company with some other com well the only western company right now that's allowed to touch nintendo's ips right y yeah apart from nintendo's own like well yeah American but studios. like look at fucking fox there with star fox as an exclusive nintendo switch experience well then there's only well, then one there's only one experience then yeah then you have to bet play on the switch i'm gonna buy that now Fuck. <laughs> and it's gonna that, buy the that x-wing that r-wing actually looks really dope oh it's an r-wing sorry I called the next wing. Oh yeah, that's not worse. I mean, Star Fox. Just How cool would it be just to have all those space franchises yeah. together? So like oh, the fuck. R wings and the X wings. Yeah. Just <laughs> space battles are really cool though. Like this is all. This is really cool. It's. Fun. I wonder if uh, because it came with a little statue of Fox. I wonder if the amiibo also like that might have been an that. amiibo. And now we're going to Assassin's Creed. I don't want to do that. For Honor? Or, oh, it's For Honor. Never mind. It's that Viking vs. Knight vs. Samurai game, right? Yeah. Uh, I thought it? this died, like, a, a little while ago. But apparently they're still going. Cosplayers, artists, tournament organizers, and all of our... They all... Whenever a game, like, doesn't perform well, they always go to, like... People that make fan art and like, well, yeah, they course, try to get those all the people that are already in, in even, even more, more in. in. Yeah, I, I'm really excited for that fucking space game. <laughs> yeah, fuck this for other shit. Let's talk more about Starlink. We would not be here without your. Was that the first like really big, oh, oh god moment? We yeah, had, like I. Feel we like haven't it had was. that. Yeah, this E3 yet. I haven't lost my shit yet. But I lost it there for a bit. Yeah. Like, the only other thing was, like, that Jump Force thing with uh, Microsoft, the anime crossover thing. Oh, yeah. I kind of... Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That was kind of hype. But we both, like... But we just didn't understand. Yeah, that's... This I completely this, understood. I was like, I get it. <laughs> I know what we're doing. And until next Monday... It's going to be free? giving away the PC Starter Edition Okay. you play. Download it this week... Please download it. It's going to die. For free. I don't know. I don't I know. I want to play that game now. Ah. When is that coming? What? Star. Oh, Starlink. Uh, I wasn't actually paying attention to the release date. I, I, I'm, I'm right now. I just want to play a space shooter. I'm yeah. just like, really into it right now. I don't know why. Do you think that they're going to make like um, a special edition for the Switch that already has like the Star Fox? Or oh, probably. Because I'm going to pre-order that right the fuck now. Are they gonna add like a fourth uh, thing or something? Or would that be too uh, stupid? A what? A fourth faction. Because it's know. Vikings, probably. Knights, probably. and this, Samurai. This is it, probably. What the hell? Arabians? Oh, female. The fuck? <laughs> Were there females before? Women? In my video games? <laughs> It's more likely than you think. <laughs> Females, I said. <laughs> the female. <laughs> What's okay? So did she die and now she's like a ghost? <laughs> Spooky. Which would you play? Like a like a samurai or? You really knight? have to ask me that. Probably a samurai. Yeah. I hire a samurai. I don't know. Um, you the Vikings probably? Yeah, I do that, that or knights. I like knights. Yeah, I don't know. They're fucking awesome. I'm thinking Vikings. Yeah, but whatever. Whoa. Those big. <laughs> fucking Hanzo, you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like. It's supposed Is to be that different. Chinese? Like Huns or something. It's like yeah. That's not... Huh. So they are adding a fourth thing, because this looks more Chinese than... 
I don't know. I'm not. Or really. the or the or um, Genghis Khan and his fucking yeah. lords. I'm not actually kind of. I'm not really sure. Marching fire. All right. After the great cataclysm that brought knights, Vikings, and samurai to fight, civil war consumed China. Okay, so this is Chinese. Uh, okay, that's cool then. Look, he's got it on his shirt. Right yeah, it's got like. Uh, failed to establish order. Hmm. Amid the chaos. I wonder if China broke again. <laughs> With the new faction, four new fighters, visual enhancements, and single-player content yet to be revealed. The marching fire like, is as much as I shit on it, it's cool that even though it's not doing really well, they're still like yeah, adding doubling to down. it. Do not be complete without answering a huge, huge request from our community, which is a new four v four multiplayer mode. Okay. The classic medieval fantasy. Well, they would have to have four, four teams because now they have four factions. So. Introduce you to this new mode, breach. Okay. Breach or bridge? So many games, yeah, dude. Jesus. Ubisoft fucking knows they can hype us up with anything Nintendo. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, they know we're a bunch of babies, so. Yeah. Well, but, but the thing also is that they haven't done that before. So now that they are doing it, it's kind of a big deal. Yeah. I like the bromance. But I like just the fa my favorite thing about that Starlink thing is that we were literally talking about Star Fox. Yeah, and then it just it fucking happens. happened. <laughs> That's crazy. Now, it would be cool if Star Fox was like this. this and then it's fucking... There he is. What what kind of game is it? Is it single player or multiplayer? Uh, I think it's single player. Okay, so just like a okay, I'm I'm gonna. Yeah, no, play it's that. like a space. The only thing that I don't like is you need to have the controller or the thing on your controller. That that looks really cumbersome. I don't know if that's... I haven't felt it yet. So well, imagine having this lopsided thing on your controller. That... Give me a switch controller. No, no, the switch controller. This is the switch. No, one. but that one because oh. it's supposed to go on that one, right? Well, I can probably also click on that. If it can click on the PS4 controller, then that could. Just have it. There. It probably clicks on that better than. Yeah, because like this this is kind of. Yeah. It probably comes with like a Joy-Con holder like that already has. What are you the, doing? I'm just give it back. Me. Give, it to, give it to me. I like the feeling of the Switch controller still. Like this is not bad to me. I've always liked this. No, I, I, I finished I, Breath of the Wild with this. It's fine. I, ju I just prefer the Pro controller. Yeah. It's. I think it's just way better. I think this is one of the best controllers, like, I don't like ever. it too much. I don't like the feeling of it. No? Much. Oh, give me a PS4. Controller ratings is in between <laughs> all this. Yeah, I mean, it's for honor. I don't... Yeah. yeah, I like this way more. Yeah? No, yeah, I prefer the more. Pro Controller way so much more. over that. The sticks feel way better to me. And the bumpers. I like the fact that the bumpers are, like, with the springs. Yeah, that they're analog. Yeah, but... that's way better. Just feel okay, crew. So let's see what they've got. Yeah, Forza Horizon Four kind of blew my mind. So yeah, I don't know if you can. The only thing this has is that it has like boats and. Uh, but I think Forza had that. No, it didn't. Forza was just cars. Forza well, not just cars. No, well, I mean, dune buggies it's and like, like hovercraft. Yeah, that's true. To announce that the open beta will be available on PlayStation Four, Xbox One, and PC. On June twenty first, okay. but there's more. She's kind of boring. <laughs> now, so you'll be ready to hit the road as soon as it starts. Well, she's trying to be exciting. All of us at Ivory Tower, welcome to the crew two. The crew two. The crew two. <laughs> is uh, is Captain Falcon gonna be in this? <laughs> Blue Falcon. The fucking Mario in a cart. You into planes? Huh? You like planes? Um, I mean, I like flying in video games, but like, I wouldn't want to do it in real life if that would. No, no, you might. No, if it controls well, I don't really mind planes. <laughs> what the hell? 
how'd you get there? Whoa. Nah. I don't like that. <laughs> it's what Max for stopping. <laughs> you mean Max for stopping? The They've got every vehicle though. That's cool. Yeah, no, that's they that's the only thing that I'm like, you know, that has it over uh, Forza Horizon 4 in terms of the open world driving. Well, we don't know yet. I think Forza is prettier. Forza, as well. yeah. Well, Forza is not going to have planes, trains, and all. No, 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 no. It's got everything though. What? It's gonna be a battle between those that songs. Yeah. yeah. It just got a lot, a lot more interesting, is all I'm saying. <laughs> Things have gotten a lot more interesting. Yeah, like I. Well, because the first one just kind of came out. You and know? then, yeah. Like, I was really excited yes, for that. Same. Oh, that trailer with the car putting itself together. I was yeah. like, holy shit. Okay, there we go. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Okay. Close it with Rayman 4. You got a good conference. No, we're, not, we're not doing that. How can a child save us all? Well, it's simple. To die. Tell me, Nicolaus. Tell me before you let our son go. <laughs> no. Fucking Greek tragedies. Where we begin does not define. Who we will become. Before you Posey Don. I, oh, I love those statues. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. I'm holding the rock bank. Built by friendship and family. Love and loss. Mm. War and bloodshed. War. Oh, it's also gonna have uh, boats. Oh yeah, that makes sense. The Greeks had water that could float. I mean, fire that could float on water, and we still don't know how they did it, right? Oh yeah, that is a thing, right? Yeah. I'm thinking it's just oil, but yeah, probably. But well, we, then we would know, is, right? Like, well, how do we know? Because they said so. Was it written like, oh fucking, we had fire water, it was dope as shit. Like, yeah, it, but you know that's the thing, right? Yeah, no, yeah, I know. It's, 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 but there was probably just oil on top of the water and that burned, like, yeah. right? Like, that's probably... But I remember, like, we don't know how they did it. it well, they like, just had those vodka shots that they, like, lie on fire. <laughs> mm. This is dope as shit. The fact that it's called... Romans Odyssey. or Greeks, though? What do you prefer? I prefer Romans. The Romans? Um, I don't know. I think Greek, actually. But that's because I play God of War. Yeah. That's. I'm. 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 I'm just huge on Rome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Jonathan Zmo, creative director. Well, what's the difference anyway? <laughs> well, <laughs> pretty big difference. Yeah, no, I know. But I always forget. It's <laughs> more than just an adventure. It truly is a role-playing journey. Uh -oh. You will explore. Well, yeah, because land, like and see one of the most you can also choose if you're a guy or a girl in this one. Apparently, Greece. the golden age of Athens saw the rise of democracy, modern medicine, revolutionary art, and Western philosophy. But it was also a time of war. <laughs> a devastating. Oh yes, it was. Kratos. Athens, the Peloponnesian War, divided the Greek world and change the course of history. In this world of contrast and opportunity, this land shaped by the gods... It's so weird that they were like so far ahead, like in terms of like democracy and science, or, or wow. math at least, or weren't they that... Like I always hear that they're like... Well, compare that to like the Middle Ages, like I feel like they're a little bit more sophisticated. Ancient Greece. Well... Sophistication, it, it, it's kind of a difficult subject, really. Yeah. I was just gonna say, like, like it's the, it, the 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 big thing is that like the rich were always rich. Well, yeah, well they were always like sophisticated. Yeah. But even like during the dark ages. Yeah, sure. Yeah. The rich were still. It's just that a lot more people nowadays are rich. 
Like, well, we're the way we're living is like probably the same as like yeah. kings lived back then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so you can Wait, like choose choose your character. Okay. So easy mode and hard mode. Okay. <laughs> But that's cool though, because they they haven't done that before. Like you were always just the character. Yeah. The ch <laughs> the blades of chaos. Do love ancient times. And the statues are like super cool always. Oh my! Like the way they made statues, yeah. I've like watched documentaries on this. We can't do it. <laughs> no, we can't make statues the way no? they did. Okay. Well, because, like, I see them and then they have cloth, but it's made of marble, but it looks like cloth. You know what I mean? Oh, dude, there's, yeah. like, wings. Yeah. With feathers, and you can, like... Well, also, you have to remember, they didn't have shit to do back then, you know? So, did you know, by the way, that, um... If you look at Roman statues and Greek statues, the Greek statues are, like, ten times better. But the Romans tried to copy them. Yeah. And the way you can... Distinguish okay. is yeah. that you've got like a Greek statue. It's it's got a pose. Yeah, and it's just that and the and the Roman statue has got like these pins sticking out of it to oh, keep it in place Right, because they can copy it. Yeah, but so no, much. they can't make it as stable Okay, well, they probably don't even know like where they started making it like, Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's so, just the Romans just weren't so, <laughs> as good So what you're telling me is like that captain fell. Yeah, be that's a there. Roman. <laughs> that's Roman. Yeah, and then like like the like the, the split, the one. yeah it's like Greek. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. I didn't know that. It had like like just pins sticking out of it. God, this doesn't fucking stand up. Oh, I love statues like that though. This is fucking. Uh, yeah. they look like that. Were you able to resolve the situation without bloodshed? The rebel had guards. I. Really? It still looks bad though. The hair, especially. The life of a thief <laughs> it's fucking so quick. <laughs> that of soldiers doing their duty. I wasn't even thinking about him, to be honest. And what of the rebel? Uh oh. He should be halfway to Mykonos by now. Oh, really? You let that lunatic run loose? Are you sure that was wise? I'm not sure approaching you was wise. <laughs> Our choices are like ripples on water. They seem tiny and insignificant at the beginning, but they can become devastating tidal waves by the time they run their course. Over the next few days, you can experience this for yourself. So how long did that... In our uh, demo. Like and how long did home, the Greek Empire like last? In terms of time, you know that? Oh, oh geez. Quite long. Okay. Well, I can't really pinpoint no, it for you. I'm just wondering because I wonder if during the course of the game, like, it's gonna, like, fall near the end. Maybe. Like, I feel like that would be interesting. The fucking statues, dude. It's insane. I like the boats as well. Yeah. What are those called again? Uh, I don't know what they're called, but we were just talking about, like, um,. Oh, fucking Minotaur. Uh, um, like, like those Western European ships. Yeah. But these ships are, you know. These are cool too. No, but I'm saying like these were a bit earlier and they they function. Yeah. Well, but they're like rowboats, and the other ones are like sailing. Wind, wind yeah. Also, boats, these so. are also kind of sailing, but. Yeah. But and these are like for like the Mediterranean and not yeah. like an open ocean. That's also but. true. Yeah. Okay, alright. Such a beautiful island. Yeah, it looks really cute. Yeah. Uh, cool. Looks, look really cute. cute. Looks cute. Quiet as fuck. I meant to say cute. Ah, Mykonos Island! No, that didn't look so good. Yeah, that weird. He just- ah! <laughs> It's so weird, like, they feel more cartoony, the way they, uh, Why is he so because he, have a, he doesn't have an inside voice. Yeah, it's like me. He's like you, yeah. 
are dying. But he's not like talking to her. It's just like, well, probably because he's an actor and he only knows how to do that voice at that tone at that level. <laughs> Word has already spread of you sinking those ships. There's a price on your head. Whew, Stop screaming. There's also word of Spartans landing on Mykonos. So, I'd rather just them talk normal English so he can actually, like, have some, um, what's it called? Some nuance to his voice. Because right now it's now he's doing an accent. accent yeah. Well, but what, is he doing a Greek, a current Greek accent? I'm, I think what he's doing is just like weird, just like well, Southern could, European talking yeah. English kind but, like, of thing. Like they didn't talk like that back then, right? Like we don't know what they talk. No, like. exactly. But like we can assume. But at that point, you should probably. Or maybe they did all just yell. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Maybe she just ran off. Yeah. Fucking horses. The hills are really pretty though, like... Personally, this can't be good. Oh no. Malos the Invincible. Well, that's gonna be difficult. So, oh, so... Yeah, someone is like, chasing you. Yeah. I like that. But like, then again... It could also be really annoying though. Yeah, uh, but... <sighs> what the hell? Did she just put fire on her sword? Yeah, maybe the Greeks know how to do that as well. Yeah. Like, they stuff can, like that. They can put fire on anything. They're crazy. Put some gasoline on grass. Does she have a fucking super move at the bottom there? Maybe. <laughs> fucking limit break. <laughs> he ain't invincible. Wow. I know someone else who's really gonna like this game, <laughs> I feel. Hmm. <laughs> Just steal his helmet. How does that fit? <laughs> Why does this feel like Breath of the Wild, this menu? Yeah, it kind of does. With the... Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Carry his body. No, he's fine, he's just drunk. Wondering how big the world is. There's gonna be a lot. There's gonna There's be, gonna a, be a, a lot of, of small islands. Yeah. Well, that's probably more interesting than than just one big open field. I like archipelagos. I'm looking for Kira. What do you want with her? He looks Roman. <laughs> Oh, with a Roman. <laughs> the mercenary who bears the eagle of Zeus. You got my message. It said something about paying me handsomely. Huh. Mercenaries. Is the stream a lagging? And is the sound like not in uh, sync? Because this, this is long, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that too. However, I am still kind of interested in it. Yeah. Fucking job. When did that camera stop? Fuck. <laughs> I'm here to kill the Ocles, not go to war. <laughs> Which is why I sent a word of a rebellion. There really wouldn't, though. Like, but I don't know how early this is. The way they move, I mean. Like... And the Ocles fights with the fury of Ares. Join us in battle. If you're half the warrior Kira says you are, we'll grind these Athenians... Like, I don't think this is motion captured. I think it's just, like... Yeah, it's not. Uh, manually done. I'll fight with you. But the Ocles is mine. To battle, then. Whoa. How do you even keep track of like who's on your side with stuff like this? Distinct uniform. Yeah. One's red. Well, what if they just like pick the same color just to confuse? Uh... You wouldn't want to do that. Yeah. Red versus blue. All right. It's pretty simple. Whoa. That's a big guy. Fucking hell. Those fucking mohawks. Blunt weapons are not good. They're not? No. Why are they not? The only part... Well, a blade, yeah. and you strike, 
it's this. This will kill. Yeah. And with a blunt object, it's this. Yeah, that's true. But if you can, if you cave someone's fucking skull in, though. Oh yeah, then... sure. Like she's switching to a blunt weapon. Are oh, you fucking up? I mean, I like the idea of blunt weapons. It's just. Uh... Do oh fuck. She just fucking murder that guy in the dick. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> Free man ego. Whoa, what was that? Sharks. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if they're gonna the do mythical, uh, uh, stuff. Yeah, like you're gonna fight a minotaur at some point. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because they did do that with Origins, like. I think you fight like Anubis, or at least you meet Anubis at some point. Maybe they're even gonna do it right now. Oh fuck, dude. That's a Minotaur. Oh, that's dope. Like, the, I like that kind of stuff. The Odyssey! Yeah, October 5th. One more thing. No. No, oh, this is it. This might have been it. I feel like that yeah, was it. Yeah, was it? Yeah. Well, they might have a one more thing, but I don't think they do. Hi, everyone. And thank you for joining us. And thanks to everyone watching from home. The camera's to over our here. Teams, it's an honor to work with some of the best in the world. Congratulations on a great show. Why aren't they... Come on, guys. Like, clap. Fuck. Fucking... He'll you... kill you. Yeah. I will put you in my death trap? I am, uh... And you won't escape. It's a lot of people, I, I know. Am I am an optimistic guy. And I am you are. particularly excited about the future of technology and the positive role games will play in shaping our society. To create these games, we need to work even more openly with you, the gamers. Because we know when we do that together, everything gets better. So I have a We're great all in Thank this you very much. Together. Whoa, okay. Okay. Was, I think that was it then. That was it. Yeah. Uh, ended up being fun. There's a lot of slow starts in these presentations. Yeah, like, and the Xbox didn't have that. They started with Halo, yeah, that's which was true. smart. Well, I feel like some of these conferences have more big things. Like, they front load them with all the boring stuff. Yeah. And then at the end, they do because all Because they the want you stuff. to remember the fun stuff. Yeah. Which kind of works because yeah. I'm. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm that's, it works, yeah. I already forgot about the shitty dance number in the beginning. Like, if they ended with that, I would have been like, skip. But yeah, like that was. Cool. There's some cool stuff there. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that really blew my mind was, was the, the Star, Star Fox. Fox thing. Yeah, but it's because we're <laughs> fucking assholes. No, uh, the funny thing was we were talking about it. Yeah, that's the. That best. was crazy. That's the best part of the whole thing. Yeah. What'd you rate this? Um. Seven and a half for I, me. Yeah, I like. I want to give it. An, I I don't want to do halves. I do because that you need halves. Well, exactly because I want to give it an eight, but there's also some stuff where I'm like I give it a seven. So that's seven and a half. Yeah, exactly. So okay, seven and a half, fine. Because there was a lot of cool stuff, but also like we already knew a lot of these things. Yeah. And like the beginning was kind of. They had Miyamoto. It's true. They did have. You know what? Fuck which, it. it gets an eight because Miyamoto. Which was kind of felt, uh, not planned, because they were just like. On, off the side on the of the stage. Yeah, Bill wasn't even with him. No, it was kind of like, and he's here. And he was like, oh wait, I am. <laughs> I was. I just got a suit up. It's yeah. cool that he got a gift though. Yeah, that was cute. You think he gets to keep it though? <laughs> Definitely. Or Eve is like, give that back. No, no, no. Eve's not a villain like that. No. Eve loves Miyamoto. Yeah, he does. We didn't he get always, Rayman 4, He though. always gives him stuff. <laughs> yeah. He... he has a gun. <laughs> yeah. Here's a lethal weapon. Uh, no, so that was... Yeah, that was fun, actually. Yeah. I was kind of scared at the beginning, but... Yeah. They... they also... Uh, what's the game called again with the monkey? With the monkey? Oh, uh... Fucking... And the pig? Beyond Good and Evil 2. Yeah. Uh, we saw some of that. 
Uh, Some gameplay. Yeah, pre-alpha. Uh, not really. Uh, it's they're they're hyping it up like their big thing, but I'm not that interested. No, same. Well, because Gotta the be first one wasn't a big thing. It was yeah. just a thing, and now they're really making it pushing bigger. it like it's their big thing. Yeah. But their big thing is Rayman Four. No, so we'll see you next year no, with Rayman Four. Well, their big thing for this year was Fox and Starlink. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Starlink's gonna sell amazingly now. Uh, on the Switch. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so next up is Sony. In, uh, in a couple hours. In like three hours. So uh, we'll, we'll see you guys, see you guys then. there. Goodbye. Bye.